here's the deal. Let's start. Ready? Boom. My name is Jenna Evangelista from Grace and Color, and we are going to discuss finishing 2017 strong today. I'm going to go over this new workbook slash planner that is printable and that I have for you. Um, but more than that, I want to discuss a little bit about um, December this month and how we can live it intentionally um, for Christ. Okay, so first of all, we tend to, at this time of the year, we tend to do one of two things. One is either we're super, super frazzled about December and all the things that we have to do and our to-do list and our, um, our uh, planning and our events and our, you know, the stuff that we have to do for church and for our kids and for gifts and for family and all this stuff that we tend to just kind of rush through everything and Christmas Day comes, it's a big, you know, tornado of fun, but also kind of crazy. And then it's over and we sort of deflate a little bit and then we have to clean up the mess. So that's one thing that happens. The second thing that can potentially happen is that we, we kind of put our head in the sand about it being Christmas or the holidays because it stresses us out. And so we don't do anything. And then we are looking at the week before Christmas thinking, I haven't done anything. You know, I haven't planned anything. I've done make cookies with my kids. I haven't done, you know, the gingerbread house and that kind of stuff. And then the guilt settles in, it sets in, and we kind of um, shut down a little bit, right? So those two things are possibilities um, for us. Uh, of course, there's a whole spectrum in between. If any of those sound familiar to you, let me know. But what I suggest that we do is that we take this month for what it is, okay? And that well, what it is, is a gift from God. The other thing that we tend to do in December, and I'm guilty, guilty, guilty of this, is this is that second category, that head in the sand kind of category. We tend to think, okay, well, let's just plan ahead for the new year. Because I know I have. I have bought my planner. Actually, I have two planners. I've really tried hard not to buy a bunch of planners because I tend to buy four or five planners and then I don't use them. So I have bought my planner. I'm sort of ready and I'm kind of ready to get into that planner. You know, I'm ready to dig into the new planner. You know, I'm guilty of doing that. I tend to, I tend to get into uh, the planner a little too soon. A lot of times we look forward to 2018, and, and at least I do. I'm a big planner. I love planning. I love planners, and I love looking forward. But when I do that, and when I really start focusing on 2018, sometimes I miss what God has for me this month. I tend to fall in the second category of I, you know, it's, I put my head down, and I think, okay, well, it's not really coming yet. I've got plenty of time to worry about it. Christmas is, you know, is way far away and I can do all of the things, you know, in due time. I tend to be that kind of a person. And so then I think, well, let me go ahead and think ahead to 2018 and that'll make me feel like I'm being productive. So what I want to do is I want to focus on this year. I want to focus on this December, on these next three weeks that we have in December two weeks before Christmas, and then one more week until January 1st. And I really want to take that time. I want to focus on it. I want to plan well these next few weeks. And I really want to spend some time with God. So that is why I created this. And so let's talk about it. Yay. All right. This is called the Finish Strong. Um, it's a workbook and a planner. I don't didn't know whether to call it a workbook or a planner because it's kind of a mix of both. So I kind of call it a workbook slash planner, workbook and planner. I don't know what to call it. Um, so I just called it Finish Strong. And this is the title page for it. So it's called Finish Strong. Um, and I printed mine out on really low quality paper. Um, I recommend that you print out the title page on cardstock or at least harder paper, harder, thicker paper rather. Um, but you know, you don't have to, um, and because I printed mine out on really cheap paper because, you know, I plan on printing more than one copy of some of these things. There are a couple of calendars in this planner, just, just monthly calendars because 
you know, we, what's a, what's a plan or a workbook without a calendar. And one is just the December. And then the second one is January and it's at the end. You can put, print these out and put them in any order that you want. But this one is uh, the December and I printed out and put it second. I put the order that I printed it out in on when you download it, it's got numbers and that's the order that I printed it out in. There's actually two number threes and that's because I added a three. I added one once I'd already renumbered, once I'd already numbered everything and I just didn't renumber them because that's kind of lazy. But December, so I have my December calendar and I've got it ready to go. I know that it's already the 12th of the month, but that's okay. We've got three more weeks of December, like I said. I've got plenty of time. My next page that uh, is in the planner or workbook is something that we have been intentional about over the last month, and that was gratitude. Um, you know, I did a gratitude journal. I have a video on that. I still have a free download on that if you want a gratitude, um, a page to make your own gratitude journal. For It doesn't have to just be for Thanksgiving. But what I have done is I've added a daily gratitude page as the very first thing that I've done, that I'm doing. And that is so that every day I'm going to, and it's one through 31. So these are kind of the days of the month. But for me, because obviously it's a 12th, I'm just going to start now and I'm going to uh, just keep, just, you know, just plug it in, just plug in 31 things for which I'm grateful. And these are just gratitude, expressions of gratitude to God. And so start my, start my, my kind of day, my plan or whatever with a word of gratitude. Okay. So that's the first thing. Um, then there is a, the next one is the kind of, could be potentially stressful, but it's the to-do list. Okay. Which is super, super important to also get, um, the things we need to get done, done. Okay. And this is just a blank to-do list. There's two columns for it. And it's just says holiday to-do list. And it is where you can just jot down all the things that you need to do when they arise and when they come up. Um, actually, I like putting little boxes next to them so I can check it off. When I, when I have a good plan, I tend to be more organized. When I don't, when I am not using a planner, which is not very often, then I tend to be more scattered with my to-do lists and put them on in the back of envelopes and things like that. And that's not a very effective way to do it, honestly. It's really not. All right, so the next page I have, now some of you may not need this at this point in the game, but it sounds like some of you may, because I did. Um, and one of them, is, this is a holiday budget page. And if you don't need this now, you can hang on to it for later. But because of you have already finished all your gift giving, you may not need this, but this is, a budget page, it's got gift, a gift budget, a decoration budget, a food and entertaining uh, section. It's got three sections on it and they are, um, you know, again, this can be printed as many times as it needs to be. And it's just a way to put what you budget and what you actually spend to kind of help keep you on track with holiday spending because that is a big stressor for a lot of people, a lot of families, and a lot of marriages actually is spending money around the holidays, especially if you and your husband have different ideas on the holidays, right? Am I right? Has anybody else kind of struggled with that a little bit? Okay, so I have a page here for December memories, and then I have a similar page that just says memories, just says plain old memories, okay? So this one, here's the deal with these. These are little boxes, all right? Because in each box, I want you to put something about this month that is special that you want to remember. Now, this could be um, something that your kids do. This could be something that your family does as a tradition. This could be something that you found really impactful um, something that you ran across, an article. This could be a Bible study that you are doing. This could be um, a Christmas decoration that you've purchased this year that you want to become, you know, special, an heirloom type decoration. This could be whatever it is, just a memory. This could be maybe you went on a trip, maybe you went to Oklahoma like him, and you want to put some of those little special memories on there. Um, so this can be used to go back and do art journaling for. It can be used for scrapbooking later. 
I know there's a couple of you here that are scrapbookers. Um, this could be used for, um, uh, for again, for gratitude later. Um, or this could just be a place for you to just document your memories because I think documenting our memories is important. Okay, so there's a page for December memories and then there's another page that just says memories. That's it. Um, I have a Christmas card list page and let me tell you the reason that I have this page. Okay, this is a Christmas card page um, and this, and here's the reason for this. Now most of you have your Christmas cards on a, another program, on a contact list, on whatever, and that's awesome. And I did that, but I lost all mine. I lost all of my Christmas addresses all of them. Um, I had a hard drive crash and I can't, I thought I backed it up, but I can't find where I backed it up. And so I honestly have been, I'm completely without addresses this year. So what I'm going to do is as my cards come in, now the addresses that I know, I'm, I'm trying to get those collected. Um, and I'm probably not sending out Christmas cards this year. They're probably going to be New Year's cards, honestly, because Again, the whole China, head in the sand, lost the addresses kind of gig. Um, but what I will do is as cards come in, if I don't have their addresses already on a list, I'm going to just write them down on this list. I'm going to jot them down here. It'll be easy. It's in a central location. Um, so that way I can keep up with it. Um, I'll probably, I may print this out a couple different times. Um, and then it, it's got a place for name, address, received, and sent. And that way I can keep up with it. And that's why I added this page. We have a December photo, a December daily photos page, and then another just December photo page. So if you do December daily, this one's li uh, listed from one to 31, and this one is not listed. It's not numbered. Um, these are just basically, here's the deal with these. These are things that you want to remember to photograph during this season. Um, so let's say, you know, you really want a picture with, your children in front of the Christmas lights, or you really want to work on like the bokeh thing with photography, you know, where the lights are kind of fuzzy and blurry and it looks really cool. Um, or you really want to make sure that you don't miss out on a picture of the thing, the Christmas table, right? Before everybody starts digging in and it looks ugly because all the, you know, turkeys have eaten. You don't want to forget a picture of your father carving the turkey, for example. Um, those are the kind of things that I want you to write down on this list. And that way you can be reminded when the day comes to take those pictures. Let's say you want to, you want to make sure you're going to remember to get a picture of, you know, I don't know what, what, what does everybody always get pictures of you? You're going to remember to get a picture of your baby with Santa if you do that kind of thing, but you may not remember, um, you know, take a picture of them on Christmas Eve, putting up their stocking whatever. Okay. I'm just giving, just throwing out examples. So that's what this is for. It's for you to document. Again, this is great for later on for scrapbooking or for art journaling or for even Bible journaling or anything like that. So that's what those pages are for. I, and you know, this might not work. This might not be something, this might be a page you decide not to even print off and that's totally cool. You don't have to print off every page. Um, but I have found that I get so caught up in the moment in the day that I take pictures, but I forget to take intentional photos. And the years that I take intentional photos around the holidays are the years that I go back and I have just kind of better memories because it's more intentional. So that's just me, but I like taking pictures. I have the next page is for holiday entertaining and it is, it's got an event, the menu plans and the shopping list. Again, many of you may already have done all of your entertaining. You may have already done all of your planning for your entertaining. Um, I have not, so this is what I needed, um, but you've got it if you want it, okay? I have a gift list. Um, once again, for those of us who are procrastinating, this is gonna be super helpful. I love making these lists. Um, I put the name, the gift, and when, when I buy it. So when something comes up and I think about somebody that, oh, they would really, really, you know, do well with a particular coffee mug because I know they love coffee. Then I'll put their name there and I'll put coffee mug and then I'll remember when I'm out to buy it. And I keep this with me all the time. And that way I will remember when I'm out and about at the store and not floundering around what I'm actually looking for. Am I right? Or when I'm online, because that's the next page, online shopping. 
Um, and this is a way to keep track of your online shopping. Most of us do that just with our emails and with receipts. And I do have a specific category in my Gmail for online receipts um, for Christmas in particular. That, that's how I keep track of it a lot of times. But if you want to keep track of it on paper, you've got that to do that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a breather. Whew, a break for a minute because the next little bit here that I've got are something that I think that I'm really, really excited about. That really is more of the planner part of it. The next part is more the workbook um, and part of it. Okay. And so I'm pretty excited about this next little part. And it really is not even specific to necessarily specific to Christmas, to the holidays. And that's why I think it's super exciting. I have three things here and they are three, they're it's basically month grids and there's five weeks on there. So there is, what's five times seven, 30? 35. <laughs> I was a science major, not math. 35. Okay, so there's 35 of each of these things. So the first one is um, scripture prompts. And these scripture prompts are specifically uh, I specifically chose them because they are good prompts to help us to finish. This is where we're, we're getting this finish strong business to, to finish 2017 strong and in the word and to start our new year in the word. Okay. So this is specifically for that. Um, and so these prompts are prompts that I am encouraging you. You don't have to read them all you can kind of pick and choose you can go in order they do have days but there's no dates you they're not specifically i mean if you wanted to do one a day that's fine if you don't that's fine this is again five weeks worth so it'll get us into the first two weeks of january if you do one a day okay all right i love these prompts because you're going to be able to use these scripture prompts on my on another prompt page that i have okay so i'm going to come back to those so the second prompt page I have is a just, these are just journaling prompts, okay? These are journaling prompts, and there are some that are holiday specific, okay? So that it'll get you, get your kind of juices going as far as um, journaling about this December. Again, we want to be intentional about um, thinking about this year, ending this year strong, making sure that we don't gloss over December because it is a gift from God and we have three more weeks of it, okay? So this is, some of them are very random, like your favorite Christmas gift from childhood. Um, I mean, very kind of um, holiday specific. And then one of them are more general, like uh, what technology do, do you enjoy the, the most? These are meant to get you journaling and writing. And I'm in the workbook. There's a place for you to do this. Or you can do it on any notebook. You can do it on your journal in seven notebook. Um, and this is mine, my journal, the one that came from the course. There's a journal in seven course. I'll make sure I link that up. It is a way to create seven, to create a journal out of composition book really inexpensively in seven steps. And I will link that up as well in the description, but you could use that. It is just, it is a video course. It has, <coughs> excuse me, like two hours of video, maybe? An hour and a half, two, two and a half. I don't remember exactly. I can't remember. Maybe an hour and a half, whatever. It's got a bunch of video in it. Uh, I mean, you know, not all in one time. They're all little short little videos, like six minute videos to kind of get you through creating a journal, um, covering a composition book, putting tabs on it if you want, putting ephemera in it, putting, um, there's a, there is a page on, uh, I mean, a tutorial on tip -ins. There's a tutorial on putting a pocket in the back. Can you see these? There's two pockets. There's this pocket and this pocket. It's a tutorial on how to do that, on how to do a bookmark. There's free um, little tags and cards. There's all kinds of stuff in that course. This particular journal that I made is from the book of Philippians, and there's a whole bunch of ways in which you can use it. So if you want to, you can check it out. Um, I will say that if you take this um, downloadable, printable workbook that I'm talking about right now, and you print it at like 70%, I think that's the right. 70%, I believe is right. I think I tested that. It's been a while. So test just one page. And cut that out. It will fit perfectly in a composition book. And you can put that in your composition book. 
and I think that might be what I'm going to do with mine and how I'm going to bind mine. If you don't enjoy it, it's not something that you should do. But if you do, then it is a great uh, way to just kind of express yourself, okay? Um, and there's, there's really no band behind either. That's the beautiful thing. All right, let me tell you my last prompt page because uh, some of you may like this. And this is Bible journaling. Bible art is art journaling prompts. So it's Bible art journaling props because some are for Bible journaling and some are for art journaling. And this is where you can go back to your scripture page and you can take these scripture and you can apply these techniques to it. I know when I do that, I get dark, sorry. How about that? Okay, and so these are different prompts that you can use um, such as, and some of them are related or you can put in a book like in the journal and seven journal and some of them are just you can just do randomly, like one is to um, use a, reshe a receipt or shopping list on a page. One is to draw or paint a tree. Christmas tree would be great. One is to visually represent a holiday tradition. One is to use fabric on your page. Anyway, there's just a whole bunch of props, okay? So it, there's 30. There's 30 props. So if you want to try different things, you can. Now, I know that we are in a busy, busy time of year. That's what everybody's been telling me, right? Um, and it is crazy. And so this may not be something you really do until January. That's totally cool. But part of the reason that I created this now and I'm releasing this now is because I want us to be intentional about these next couple weeks and take some time for ourselves, however that looks, and time in the Word of God. So whether that means creating with our hands, like the art journaling, or writing with, our, with, our, with a pen, like the regular journaling, or whether that means just reading, reading scripture, whatever that looks like for you, find time to get in the word. Okay, this, this year, yes, in the middle of the crazy. Yep. Okay, and then I do have um, two pages here, actually three pages here, Two pages on, I'm almost done, I promise. Two pages on that say create something to this. And this is how, this, this, these are just little boxes, little squares that you can create on. You can do hand lettering, you can do the journaling prompts, you can do the art journaling prompts, whatever. Again, you can use any notebook you want, but I do have those as options. And then I have a full page that's anything goes. Again, you can do whatever you want to with this. You can put sermon notes on it. You can put your journaling on it, whatever you want to do. Um, and then the very back of the notebook as well, I have another full page that just says notes. Okay, these are easy to print. I designed them all to be black and white so they will not take up a bunch of your ink and they're very easy to print. Okay. The last two pages I wanted to mention to you. All right, so at the end of the book, there's the notes. There's another memories page. We talked about that already. There's another calendar page for January to get you started in January. And then the last two pages I want to mention to you, and then I promise I'm going to be done. I'm sorry. The last two pages, one says looking back and one says looking ahead. Okay. The, they both have 12 boxes. So what I'm going to encourage you to do on the looking back is take each month of 2017, 12 of them, each month of 2017, and write down something significant about that month, whether it was something you were blessed with, whether it was something significant that happened in your family, whether it was uh, something that was painful even, that you saw God's grace through, um, somehow something that changed you, that shaped you, that happened that month. And you can totally go through Facebook or your planner, your calendar, anything like that to do that. But I encourage you to do that and to go through and look at, at basically we're looking at our blessings, right? Um, and then, so there's, and so there should be 12 of them. You could do more than that, but that's what I encourage you on looking back. And then on the looking ahead, this is where you're going to be intentional about what's going to happen next and what's coming up. One thing you can put on here are people that, you know, you want to be intentional about, you know, ministering to, witnessing to, being um, a friend to that may not really have a friend right now. 
Um, you, you know, how are you going to be intentional about spreading the gospel? Um, what are you going to do for your family? What kind of things are we looking at? Are you going to try to save up to go on vacation? Are you going to, um, you know, work on a new curriculum at home? Whatever it is. Let's look ahead a little bit. This is not really a planning page per se. It is a little bit. It's a little bit of a goal page, but it's more of a big picture vision page. Okay. So big picture vision, because there's no nitty gritty here. This is just big picture. And that pretty much does it. Whew, that's a lot of pages, guys. I'm so sorry that um, I went through all that. But I wanted you to see what was in this workbook. It's called Finish Strong, and you can use two pages out of it, or you can use all 24 pages out of it. You can print off as many copies of one page as you need. You can print off, you know, just five pages out of the group. It doesn't matter. Um, you can print it off like this and put it in a three-ring binder. You can put it in, put a, a, um, a little ring on there so it's just kind of look like this. You can print it out double on one piece of paper so that it's smaller. You can print out 70% and put it in your composition book that you create with your journal in seven class um, or any notebook. So there's so many different ways you can use this but I encourage you to use it the next three weeks. I um, look forward to talking to you guys again soon. I'm sorry to keep you so long. I hope you enjoyed the Finish Strong Workbook and Planner. So it was good to talk to you and chat with you and please feel free to message me or comment anytime. And have a great day and have a great intentional rest of 2017. Let's finish this thing strong. Okay, all right, bye guys. very 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 low cost for my email people like ridiculous like okay so go go to your email okay I know I'm not gone yet <laughs> I wasn't on the right page to end the broadcast <laughs> hang on I'm gonna say bye now <laughs> this is the craziest thing ever you guys can go bye I was able to save it. Yeah, I can't end it. I know, where's the end button? It's gone. Okay. So here's the thing. For those of you who are still watching me, which hopefully nobody is, because I'm trying to end this thing, I cannot stop being live at the moment. Yeah, somebody's still on here live. <laughs> hopefully y'all walked away and you're not actually watching me do this. You guys got, might get an inside look at my whole day. I think it ends after four hours. So you guys might, I might just carry y'all around with me. I got no option to end it. So you guys are stuck with me. So what you wanna talk about? Who's here? <laughs> do I have a dog? <laughs> you wanna talk about puppy dog names? Is that it? I do have two dogs actually. Olive and Louie. Olive is super sweet. She's kind of a pit bull mint. And Louie is a full bred um, Boykin Spaniel and he is, just not very smart. Oh, I found it. I found the button. Okay, I'm leaving now. Oh my goodness, that was insane. Okay, so this is like those, um, okay, this is like the Avenger movies where if you wait through the credits, you get a little extra, right? Okay, so what's my extra gonna be? My extra is, um, so if you sat through here, what's my extra? My extra, extra, extra. Oh, okay, here's my extra. I'm thinking about potentially maybe doing something like this on a monthly basis for next year if enough people want it thinking about it so if you're on my email list you will get an email next week outlining potentially what the plan is and having the option to commit or not commit depending and so so each month we will do intentional planning so that's your extra if you waited <laughs> all right i will talk to you guys later bye <laughs>